Hello, my name is George and I'm a solutions architect here in the Meraki offices in San Francisco. In this short video, I'm going to show you what to expect when you get your first Meraki access point. We're going to be looking at both 802.11n and AC models of access points, what mounting hardware is included in the boxes, and also importantly, what does the status LED mean when you turn the access point on? So let's go and have a look at that now. The MR18 is one of our 802.11n access points. Uh, if we open up the box here, we can see the very sleek, nicely designed AP in here. The N access points have a slightly different shape to our AC APs we'll look at a little later on. Now, if I take out the box, we can see what you get inside, and we get a small pamphlet on the regulatory compliance, as well as a foam tray full of mounting hardware. Now, this is really very useful, because not only do you get all the parts you need to mount it on a T-bar or on a wall or something like that, you also get a little Allen key to attach the retaining screw, but all of the things in the tray are push fit. So if I turn it over and give it a shake, none of them will fall out. This is really useful when you're on top of a ladder and you only have one hand free to hold the components you need to put the AP to the wall. You're not going to lose them when they're firmly held inside that tray. Now, if we go back to the MR18 and we turn it over, we can look at the mounting plate itself. So if I just slide it down and lift up, it will pop off and we'll see that the plate comes with a template. Uh, the template has all the details about the mounting holes we need to drill or to use. They're already in the environment. Now, if I look at the bottom, we have this little bracket for the retaining or security screw. We'll put that to one side and we'll go back to the access point. And we'll see not only the mounting holes, but also some little rubber feet if you want to put it on your desk. And at the bottom, the status LED where you'll know what the access point's doing. This is the same on all Meraki APs, N and AC. There's also a Kensington lock slot, again, available on all the Meraki access points should you need to secure the access point from theft. Now, we're going to look at the MR32 next. This is an AC AP, and this has a slightly different design and a slightly different shape. But as I said, the LED is the same. Now, if we open up the box on the MR32, we can see it has like a sharper design, some nice straight edges there. And we could take the AP out the box and we'll look at what else you get. And it is just the same. So we get the uh, little pamphlet and the foam tray again with all the useful hardware. So we're not going to spend any time on that as we've already looked at it. Now the MR32 and the other AC APs have a slightly different mounting bracket. This has a push fit clip. So if I turn the access point over, I can go in and uh, if I use my thumb here, I'm just going to press lift and it detaches from the access point. Now the mounting plate itself again has that template, but it also has one extra and this is this cool little uh, spirit level to make sure you mount your access point with those straight edges nice and true. So it looks good when it's on the wall. Now if we go back to the access point itself, we can uh, turn it around and we can look at the connectors. Now this is the same again on all the APs. So we've got a PoE compatible RJ45 connector, a separate power connector if we need it, and a reset button. I'm going to be powering this via PoE, so I'm not going to connect that other power adapter. Now as the access point turns on, the status LED will go red. And this will start to change colors as different things happen on the access point. As the access point starts to boot, it will cycle through different colors in a nice rainbow pattern. Once it's ready and is booted and operational, it will turn a solid green color. This means the AP is ready to go. Once the AP is green, if it changes blue, it means the device has connected to one of the SSIDs that's been broadcast by the AP. Hopefully you should now know what to expect when you receive your first Meraki access point. If you'd like further information, please visit the Meraki website. If you'd like to stay up to date with the latest news, then subscribe to our blog. Thank you very much for watching.